welcome to Ace Linguistics. This channel is about all things linguistic. So let's see what we've got today. So you remember last week we talked about phrases and phrase structures like this sentence in English has a phrase structure and you can draw a tree diagram for the for a sentence in English. Sentencing itself might be referred to as an inflectional phrase in but we are going to treat it as s in the phrase structure rules and phrase structure trees. Why is this important? Because we are trying to understand the constituent structure of the English sentence. Okay, so right now we are just focused on English. A typical English sentence, like a declarative sentence in English, can be rewritten as follows. A sentence consists of a noun phrase followed by an auxiliary or auxiliary verb, followed by a verb phrase. I can give you a basic sentence, English sentence, show you the structure. For example, the English sentence, I will run, it, it is a sentence, you see S at top. We are going to get this at the top of every tree diagram for every English sentence. Then as we go down below, things will start to differ. It consists of an MP, followed by an AUX, followed by VP. Then you will have to expand on each of those nodes. Here the noun phrase consists of a pronoun, PR, and the verb phrase only consists of a verb, or each of the three nodes np augs v we had one word i for mp will for augs run for vp so when we're talking about phrase structure rules we need to write the rules not just for the sentence but then you have more phrases within the sentence and then each of those phrases needs to be accounted for with a phrase structure rule but sentences in english uh, are typically more complicated. For example, I will tell her the story. If I ask you to draw, draw the tree diagram, you can always stop at the top by writing the sentence NP, AUGS, VP, but alternatively you could, you could have a different approach in the sense that you could start at the bottom by labeling each of these. You already know that I is a pronoun, will is an AUGS, but when you have an augs, you need to specify the tense. So it's a tense that goes into an augs. And then tell is a verb, of course. Her is a pronoun. The is a determiner. Story is a noun. As you can see, this NP consists of a pronoun. And we already had established that that could be the case. The VP here. And then here we have a verb with two noun phrases. Pronoun goes into a noun phrase before it goes to the verb phrase. I did the tree there. We need to have phrase structure rules that account for all the, the phrase structure of the sentence. Of course, the first phrase structure rule accounts for the sentence, right? But we need more. What is the noun phrase here? The noun phrase here it consists of a pronoun. The ox is just, what about the VP? The VP consists of a V followed by an MP followed by an MP. What about the second MP? The second MP consists of a pronoun, but we already wrote the rule here, so we don't have to repeat the rule. But the second MP consists of a determiner followed by a noun. Again, as I told you earlier, we always have this node at the top, but we have different levels of complexity. Even if you're given a phrase, you're asked to draw the tree, you can do that. You see here, you only have a noun phrase, the rhythm. So what is the phrase structure tree or the tree diagram for the rhythm? 
this is it. If it's more complicated, it doesn't matter. You can still do the tree. For example, I can say the natural rhythm. If I give you the phrase, the natural rhythm, it's not a sentence. It's a phrase, the natural rhythm. It's a noun phrase that consists of a determiner and an adjective phrase and a noun. The noun phrase consists of a determiner, adjective phrase and an noun. The adjective phrase, you have to write the rule for that, consists of, a, of an adjective only. Every phrase is headed by something. A noun phrase is headed by a noun. A verb phrase is headed by a verb. An adjective phrase is headed by an adjective. Within the adjective phrase, you only have an adjective, but potentially you could have more. For example, you could have the very natural rhythm. In that case, the word very would be part of the adjective phrase very natural. So the head of that adjective phrase would be natural. The word very, which is a degree word or quantifier, qualifies the adjective. It gives you more information about the adjective, which is the head. It may be there, it may not be there. But even if there is only one adjective, that adjective is the head of the adjective phrase. And then the entire adjective phrase is part of a bigger phrase, which in this case is a noun phrase. The phrase structure rules would be the same, except for the fact that, you see, the noun phrase consists of a determined adjective phrase. Now the adjective phrase consists of a degree word and an adjective. Thanks for your time and attention, and see you again soon.